The hustle, great PTC here. And uh, yeah, I'll keep this one quick. It's Friday. And as always, we're doing these live crypto chats. And right now, I want to talk about getting liquidated. So you might be watching this video. You're like, oh man, you got liquidated. You lost money. Of course not. But Jonathan lost money. He is with me and I'm training him how to trade. And I want to use him as an example on the mistakes he did so that some of you can learn. So we're going to go through the story so that you guys can understand exactly what, what went down. Last week, we had, we, I was live with him last Friday. We were discussing he's getting into trading. He was asking me questions and you guys liked it. So I think this is part of the continuation of that story. Okay. Mr. John, what's good? Yo, guys. Let, let, let's, let's go outside, man. Uh, let's go outside. We're outside. We're outside, baby. What's up? So, yeah, um, I have the community over here. Let's, we can sit down if you want to. <laughs> uh, crypto Futures Soldier says got liquidated today. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bro. I got liquidated. <laughs> uh, John took his first trade and, yeah, he got liquidated. For those of you who don't know what it means to get liquidated, it means he lost all his money on, on that position, okay? Yeah, definitely. Exactly. <laughs> So, John, what happened? Uh, can you share the story? How did you even get liquidated in the first place? Because you, long, you went long, and I, went, I, was, um, on the, I was on the call, and I was telling you that I've decided to go short. And you still went long, no. which does not mean that I'm always right. But, you know, I spent like an hour figuring, doing some research. Then I spoke to Edward, we we're discussing our own position so that we should take on our crypto university portfolio. We decided to go short with a hedge strategy on a different high volatile altcoin. But John went long and then he lost money. So can you share exactly what happened, John? Yeah. Uh, what and happened? this is your first trade. This yeah, is your first trade. First. So I yeah. tried to trade around $50 mm -hmm. with a leverage of like 10%. 10x. Yeah, 10x, 10 times. Mm. And then when the time that I ask you, I already um, set, the, my, set my position. It's uh, Ethereum, Ethereum, UTSDT. So I went long and I tried it myself. So I just, you know, just to know the risk and also what will happen to my money. Mm. So I saw the coins so just like, like pumping like that. And then I what, which, coin, which coin did you put this position on? Ethereum. Ethereum, okay. And then I slept at night. <laughs> when I woke up in the morning, Binance messaged me that I got liquidated. <laughs> um, to all the traders out here, you can relate to that message. We all know that liquidation message that we never want to get. So yeah. typically, you get two messages. I'm sure you got two, yeah, right? First one is the margin call. It tells you that you're. You, uh, we are near. Like you're, you're, I'm, you're, I'm close to get. Uh, we you get liquidated. So you get the 80% margin call. And usually it happens so fast that you don't even have the time to, to fix anything, right? It's like it's so close, 80%. And if the coin is really volatile and it's moving really fast, you get liquidated almost immediately. Um, and someone else actually here says they got liquidated. Uh, Crypto Future Soldier. He traded futures. Me he also Ethereum. Got... Ethereum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I entered Ethereum when the price was like 3,155. Mm -hmm. And I got liquidated around 2,800. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a big move yeah, for Ethereum. Yeah. This is your one? Yeah, that's oh, mine. Let me grab mine. Uh, John Hill is in the house. Popped his cherry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, basically, you know, welcome to trading. Because, you know, John went through Crypto University and it was good. But he was uh, so scared of really just getting his feet wet into um, the... Uh, the action and really start doing it. Hey guys, please destroy the like button. Okay. Destroy the like button. Let's get the okay. Thank you. Uh, let's get the likes up there. Oh, my water is here already. It's here. Um, and now I want to talk about. I want to use this case um, to make a point. Like, okay, what went wrong? So, what do you think you could have done better? Like, what? Why did you lo lost this money? Uh, basically, I just based on the candlesticks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I. It's like a technical analysis that the candlesticks like, you know, um, mm. it's a green one and then it has like, it reached the high. Well, well, no, 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 no. Let's reverse a little bit. Why 
did you no no so uh paul you're not the only one myself and edward we went short yesterday and i told him Please. we're going short <laughs> but he said that i think the first mistake you made i presented you at least i told you that my position yeah. i'm a better trader than you right but the 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 mistake you made taking a trade long is not a problem but you didn't put a stop loss because you it's didn't want to like, I, I didn't put put a stop loss because it's just like fifty dollars so i want to try it myself okay but i tr i tried to put like uh take profit mm -hmm. yeah so once it reached like three thousand six hundred i'm gonna stop my okay so i'll tell you um the mistake you made is not about that the fifty dollars was so little mm -hmm. The mistake you made was you didn't want to compute the, uh, the probability of a loss on your position. Because why would you only put a take profit and not stop loss? Because you were only thinking of yourself to win the trade yeah. or else you're going to stay in until you make money. You, you, you didn't want to think of the scenario where like you lose only half of the money. Mm -hmm. So that was emotional uh, on your part. That was emotional trading. That's one. And number two, you know, like you can trade with 50, you, yeah, you're experimenting, of course. But even if you're trading with $10, $20, $50, you have to keep the same discipline because it, the amount doesn't matter. The same um, attitude you're going to have when you're trading $50, the discipline is what you're trying to, to, to practice. To make sure that even if you're trading with a small amount, you have the same amount of discipline. Because when you're trading, it's not so much about the amount of money. It's about the percentages you make. Right? Yeah. So the, a 10% is a huge win when you're trading with a million dollars. It might not be a big, a big deal when you're trading with 50 bucks. So that was a mistake on your part. But also, you didn't have the reasonable doubt um, element of like, when do you change your mind? So you say, oh, but I was already short, I was already long. It's like, okay, you, do you not change your mind? At what point could you have said, okay, I think I have to change my mind now? The thing is that I set my position. Mm. Um, it's yeah, it's already late at night, mm -hmm. and then I slept. Yes, that's not a problem. So yeah. that's exactly why you put stop loss mm -hmm. to make sure that when you put a stop loss, take profit, you have automated the trade. Yep. You don't have to get at least you would, it, you didn't know what was going to happen. If you put a stop loss and a take profit, you are sure of two things: either I wake up with ten or twenty percent of my money lost, or Profit or somewhere in between, right? But what, what you did there was like, okay, you're not really sure what's going to happen. It's either you're going to lose your money. You didn't want to think about that. You were praying and all in, in your head. You're like, I hope when I wake up, I'm in profits, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the mentality that you, you know, uh, you would have when you're learning trading. So yeah, those needs to be changed, you know? Mm. But at least I know what, what, are, what, what are the mistakes that I've done. Thanks, thanks so much for that. Um, the platform's cheating to make you liquidate. Ah, that's a very good point. So there is definitely room for manipulation in the market where the exchanges, you know, you get liquidated on two parameters. It's either you use mark price or you use international spot price, right? Um, or, or you use the, the local spot price of the exchange. But if you want to avoid getting liquidated because of exchange more functions, make sure you have enough margin to make sure you're not really getting liquidated over some silly stupid things you know so uh but you need to trade on i, I prefer right now i prefer ftx it has deeper liquidity and much better engine and if you want to trade on ftx use the link in the description what did you use to, to trade by okay most people start with Binance. they also have bybit hmm? <laughs> you also have bybit yeah so all those links to bybit binance ftx i have them down in the description if you guys want to get started but John got his feet wet, and I'm not babysitting him. I'm really just like, you know, you got the material in Crypto University. At least you didn't, you didn't ask me, like, oh, so how do I put a trade? You know, it's like, no, you learned all that stuff yourself. And right now, you need it's just a guidance slowly. And also, I, didn't, I did not learn it for just one night. Yeah. I practiced it. Yeah, exactly, right? You practiced multiple nights, and now he took his first trade. So... This is, uh, this is school fees, guys. You lose $50, it's part of your school fees. You're not really going to get into the game for free. Hopefully, the mistakes you made here, you're not going to make them again. I will, share, I will share your next trade also on the next live stream. And it is not also a win-win situation mm -hmm. anytime. 
Right. So um, sometimes you got, you will lose, and sometimes you will win. Yeah. Um, at least mentally, he is in a, in a good state of mind. He's he's not he's not trying to make a million dollars from his fifty dollars. You know, somebody says, "Who's John?" So John manages my gaming company, Mamba Gaming Universe. He's the manager, and right now he's just traveling with me, traveling the world, and we're building this gaming company, the Guild. If you're gamers, please join us. If you're in our gaming Discord, you know John is very active, helping you guys, training players teaching them, bringing them in, giving you updates. He is from the Philippines, and now, you know, we were in, in Cape Town together, now we're in Brazil. We no, just keep we moving. are NPA. <laughs> yeah, we're NPA, no permanent address. If you watch, um, if you watch my vlog channel, John literally said on the, on the channel that he is not going home until he becomes a millionaire, yeah. <laughs> you know? So if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, by the way, please go check it out. It's great Javesi vlog. I'm putting daily videos that have nothing to do with crypto or the stupid shit that we do on the road. Uh, it's being posted there. So go check it out. Subscribe as well. It's a new channel, you know. So what's your next move, John? What are you going to, uh, to trade next? What's your next position? Oh, uh, bro, based on the market right now, I'm going to do short position. Bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to set a position. I mean, I'm going to buy short. Short? Yeah. Okay, well, okay. you have to be tactical though because mm -hmm. the market sort of declined and there's potential of a small uprise right now. So you just have to put some countermeasures. You can actually put a trade. I'll show you how to put a trade that covers for both situations. And it has a high likability of working like 66% of the time, you know? So yeah, we'll see how that works. Um, is it online game? Yeah, we, we, we are a guild for NFT gaming. So we play sort of games that you make money by playing the game. We call them NFT games. So we give NFTs to players to play the game. And then the players make money and then we split the money 50-50. And if you're a video game player, you want to accumulate SLP by simply not buying it, just playing video games. So, uh, go to Mamba Gaming Universe. We're on Twitter, uh, Discord. We are Facebook, on it, Instagram. Facebook, Instagram, all over the place. And the links also is in the description of my video. All right. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm great. I'm great. It's incredible. Good weather over here. You mentioned student coin STC at some point as an upcoming uh, gem. Are you still bullish? I was bullish at, at one point on student coin. I haven't looked at it in a long time, but it's good that you reminded me. So I'll have a look at what's going on with that project now. But like I told you, when it comes to, to shit coins, it's a matter of trading them short to medium term, depending on the market conditions. The most thing you must always make sure that you, you're keeping up with is your Bitcoin accumulation. The rest is, you know, it's in and out, as long as you're growing your, your big composition. And Stanium says, yo, what's up, my man? I saw your message, I'll reply to it. I hope you're doing well there in the Netherlands. Oh, do you rent out the NFTs to the traders and get returns? So they're not traders, they're video game players. Imagine to play Axie Infinity, you need about $1,000 to get really good access to win and to be op uh, optimal. So I spend $1,000 on you. I buy the NFTs. I tra we train you. We train you to play the game. Then we give you the NFT game, the, 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 the games that you go to the game and you play and you win money if you're good. The money you make from the game, we split 50-50. Currently, as we speak, we have people in Africa, in Philippines, who are making a living doing this. It's the new wave, guys. It's a new wave. The new wave is play to earth. So don't sleep on this stuff, guys. It's really big. It's coming in big. It's not always about trading up and down. Uh, buy low and sell high is a good skill to have. That's why John also wanna learn it. It's easy money. That's what allows me to, to travel like this. But you also need to be in the future a little bit more. And play to earn NFT gaming is the future. And the good thing about that is that you don't have your, or you don't need any investments, mm -hmm. right? You just need to be good at playing or have interested or interesting, you know, interest in playing games. It's actually a time investment. All you need is time. Yeah. 
but it's I'll not get some time. It's just like one to two hours or yeah. three hours and then you can earn SLP or THC that mm -hmm. you can convert to fiat money. Yes. Uh, so here, uh, the worth addict says, I saw a post on Crypto University Instagram channel saying you have an event in Johannesburg on the 23 and 24th. Will you be there? I might be there. I'm working hard right now to try my best to be there. So hopefully we see you there in Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, we could be there before Dubai. And I'm, I'm working hard to make sure that I can make it. I definitely want to be there. Can I mint an NFT and sell them without involving the community, like listing uh, and la launching process? You can. You can create an NFT without having a community. It's just that it's not going to have value because it's people who give these things a lot of value. Uh, I'm 18 gray. I, ju I just made my first crypto transfer using Litecoin Network from Luno to Uphold to buy Dogecoin. As you say, shout out. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, man? Congratulations. You are now part of the cool kids, man. Welcome to the club. You're on your way to become a millionaire because that's exactly what this space did. If you look down on my videos back in the day, two years before, I was interviewing some of my friends who were like 18 at the time, millionaires already. You know, um, Tane, I interviewed Tane. Yeah, I'll send you that video. I was interviewing one of my friends, Tane, in 2017, and then I interviewed him again in 20. 21 maybe yeah he is like young right now maybe he's like 20 or 21 he's a millionaire he started with bitcoin when he was 15 years old Jeez. because paypal blocked him to receive payment and then he had to find another way as a kid on the internet and then he figured out bitcoin and then he started trading uh p2p and now he's like mata mata millionaire you know he's like into fast cars and all that stuff so i really love to see a lot a lot a lot of um uh, young people coming into crypto, it's, it gets me excited. Yo, destroy the like button, guys. Destroy the like button. Gray, when you do a short on BT, uh, BTC move, uh, FTX, I want to understand it with your voice explanation. I already made a video explaining this to you on my channel. And if you're in crypto university, I have like a very um, well-made, simple step-by-step -step video to help you understand the math. But basically, it's TWAP. They use the TWAP, which is the time, the time when the, the contract started uh, from the time that the contract is closing, if it's a, if it's a daily um, move contract, right? Um, yeah, just watch that video. But it's just the difference of the price now and when it started. And then you make that difference. So you can be more or less, which means you can short or long it. Hey, Crypto Hustle, have you taken profits on Cardano or sold any? No. Oh, what I did, I just staked all my Cardano. It generates me free Cardano over time. And mail, to mail tokens. You guys remember mail? Still mining mail if it's still running because I, I just leave it, set it up, let it run, forget about it. The good thing about having uh, ecosystem tokens is that you accumulate more free coins because of them. So you have no idea how many altcoins I've received simply because I've been holding Ethereum for a long time. Right now, the big game is NFTs. If you hold a lot of NFTs, you're receiving a lot of airdrop tokens, right? Um, but a lot of this stuff is happening um, uh, on the uh, on-chain stuff. So if you're so much on the, uh, on the centralized exchanges, you're not doing yourself a huge favor. Hey, Gray, how much money do I need to start by scalping trading? Uh, I made your trading course. Uh, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, if you're in my trading course, it's easy. So you need about to make a living per day. With one thousand dollar, with one thousand dollars, you can make a hundred bucks a day trading futures. You can do that very easily. The more money you have, the better. The the thing, what I like to say, or at least what I started doing, was that I would have a large amount of money but I would have a smaller target. Like if you, for example, if you have $10,000 and your daily target is $100, it's easy. You can really sustainably make it, you know? It's very easy to do that. But the, the problem comes when you have 10,000, you're now trying to make $1,000 a day. Then the risk element sort of increases with the profit target you want to make. Mm -hmm. And also some people sometimes don't understand that 
it's, when we say $100 a day, it does not really mean that every day you have to hit the target, the, the, the $100. If you don't see an opportunity, you don't trade. When you see a huge opportunity, you go all in, you make a lot of money. Let's say you make 300 in, instead of one. Yep. It means in the next two or three days, you have no pressure to make the $100. So it, the 100 is an average, right? Mm -hmm. You have to make sure when you average out the mathematics, it adds up on $100 a day or more, but it doesn't mean that every day, if you want to make $100 every day, you're gonna to start to force yourself into yeah, a that's, position. Yeah, that's the bad attitude. The ba another bad attitude is what you say, you say, oh man, I want to take another trade to make my, my $50 back. <laughs> that is what we call revenge trading. You also don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Uh, ah, this is your water. <laughs> okay, guys, so, you know, we out here in Brazil, trading, working, grinding, trying to work. I've, I've been trying to get ripped as hell, but the problem is to get a trainer here is so hard. They don't speak English. And right now, um, no follow Portuguese, you know, so my, my Portuguese is so bad. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. Chindi said, I want to be part of the family. Yes, sir. Take your first route, the scenic route. Go in the description of this video, sign up on FTX or buy bit or Binance using my links in the description. Buy your first cryptocurrency with a credit card or bank transfer. Make a trade. Most importantly, if you really want to fast track the process, join Crypto University. The link is cryptouniversity.network. You get my course, the masterclass, I will teach you step by step from the ground up. Okay, and I made a video, my last video today was how to double your SLP. If you're holding or accumulating SLP, I made a video to help you guys do that. So make sure you check it out as well. And next week, we have the live trading session where myself, G-Man, Ethan, um, and Edward Gonzalez, we're going live with 20 people on, on Zoom to teach you guys how to trade. So we're going to be trading live. Johnny should be there. Yep. We literally trade live. You can see our uh, thought process, how we're making decisions, how we take trades, how we hedge. Uh, how we put together some risk management stuff on the trade. You can ask questions live. That is available right now at CryptoUniversity.network. Go register before it, 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 uh, it sells up. It sells up. And also the good thing is they can also do the, I mean, the trading in their own while well watching you guys. Mm -hmm. Crypt technology. Crypt technology is, is joining us in Dubai. He is. Yeah, he's a real warrior. It goes in. I like it. I make $30 a day buying SLP with $1,000. There we go. Yeah, Oscar, good. congratulations, bro. I like that. I, I like people who are very realistic and they don't want to over grind themselves with risk. Because if you take a huge risk, you lose the $1,000. Let's say you lose 50%. Mm -hmm. You're now at 500. Now it becomes a problem making even $30 a day. Yep. You know? And then what do you do with that? You're going to be like, ah, oh, man, I can't make that draw. I need to make a bigger trade to make my 500 back. Then you and lose then you it all. Liquidated. You get liquidated. <laughs> <laughs> How can I get in your course? Uh, go to CryptoUniversity.network. CryptoUniversity.network. Uh, go to courses and register for the Crypto Masterclass. Hey, Greg, congratulations on your 10K Twitter followers. Wag me. Yeah, thank you guys for following. I have a new, uh, I have a, a TikTok now. So if you could follow me, I will be posting a lot of hot stuff in there. TikTok, Gray BTC, you can also follow me there. Uh, thoughts on Wax right now? Um, wax is one of those coins that I'm accumulating as well. It's just like SLP. It's been smashed so hard, but it has this very strong community. So buy low as, as much as you can. David, man, you inspired me as well for, for always being on the stream. Yo, guys, let's get the likes up there, up there. Unless you're a hater, but if you're watching and you're not, you're not, you're not hitting the like button, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah? Haters, even, even if you're a hater, I appreciate you for watching. Destroy the like button, okay? It helps for the YouTube algorithm. How do you get? How do you get to predict these tokens correctly? So there is like a myriad of things when it comes to that. Um, number one is community. 
you have to make sure you always um, are in a community of people who are always talking about cryptocurrency. I don't have all the information, but John might have it. Simon might have it. David might have it. Maria, Mariah can have it, or Maria, depending on where she's from. Uh, so you have to always talk to people who are into crypto. How do you do that? You join groups that are genuine. There's so many scammy groups out there that ask you for money. Join Crypto University Discord and Telegram. The links are in the description, free. We're discussing cryptocurrency on the everyday basis there. Okay? That's how you find out. That's the easiest way. Another way is to go on Twitter and follow other notable people in crypto. And then you need to read white papers, do your own research, and things like that. Uh, Gray, where are you from? I'm originally from Malawi, then I lived in South Africa. Now I just travel the world. I live in the UK sometimes now, and Dubai as well, I guess. Now we're I'm, NPA, bro. We're NPA. <laughs> no permanent address, my friend. No permanent address. That, this is the Bitcoin life. Uh, because throughout the year, you have crypto events happening all around the world. And we just go. We just go in there. Martins Paolo is asking WAX. Yeah, WAX, the ticker symbol is WAX P. W-A-X-P. Greetings from the UAE. I'm Crypto University student already. Team XB, XBD. I'll see you, family, when I am in, in Dubai. Next month, we're in Dubai for sure. So I'm speaking at the Binance Blockchain Week. I'll Meta be speaking week. at Meta Week as well. So, can I buy SLP now? Yo, buy SLP and stake it. I made a, the, my last video is showing you how to stake SLP. So, go ahead and do it. Uh, uh, this is my man, Einsteinium, says, What do you think of the future of Nigeria? The population uh, over there it will grow insanely the century. Do you think it can be canvas for blockchain? 800 million people, by the way. Yes, of course. Nigeria is one of the major forces in the world. These people are so many of them. You cannot go anywhere in the world without meeting them. Everywhere you go, they're there. And they, ha they have the hustle. I think Nigerians have, I think they have the strongest hustle of all people in the world, if you ask me. They really go in. Wherever there's money to be made, you will find Nigerians there at the high level. So you can't sleep on Nigeria. I'm working in crypto. I'm speaking with um, so many investors, developers, all of these guys. They want a piece of Nigeria. Binance, FTX, Ethereum, Cardano, they're all trying to set, to set foot in Nigeria. And if you're working on a project, make sure Nigeria beca becomes, uh, you get a market share in Nigeria because Nigeria uses more Bitcoin activities than anywhere else in the world in so many different ways. So their P2P market is more mature and advanced than anywhere else in the world. Right? So exactly. So you, you, you can't sleep on Nigeria, bro. If you're trying to build something, make sure you get Nigerian in there. You get a community in Nigeria. Uh, you get some people from there to hire them on your team to make sure that you understand. Uh, what's going on in Nigeria? So yeah, I think we have some players from Nigeria. Yeah, in our guild in Mamba Gaming, we have players from Nigeria. Uh, in our Telegram group, in our Discord channel in Crypto University, if you're a trader, you will see there's so many Nigerians in there. So as far as crypto, like I said, wherever there is money, you're gonna see a lot of these guys there. So yeah, you're right, man. Good good analysis on that. Do I necessarily need to stake or I want it to buy low, sell high? No, you don't need to stake. But if you want to pump your earnings, your, your returns, your SLP, your SLP for sure, right? it doesn't hurt anything to just stake on top of the Katana network. Great to the end. <laughs> <laughs> great to the end, to the end, to the great to the end, to the P to the A. Yes. <laughs> that is a new one. Yo, use the text. Send me your, your, your SLP address. I'll send you some SLP, okay? Um, reach out to me on, I don't know how, the best. Send it right now. Send it right now in this chat. What are your thoughts on Next Earth Token? I don't know about the token, but I'm accumulating a lot of land, whatever I can buy, because it's, it's Next Earth is still cheap. I also have some land in Next Earth. Yeah, exactly. So you can literally just buy some stuff. Offer 2x, if somebody paid $2 for his land, offer them $4 if you like it. 
you know, it's easy. To, it's not a complicated metaverse project, but it's it's a very good social project. A lot of people like it and they would want to buy because everything you're buying there sounds appealing to them, right? I think I bought four lens just by using $400. 400? No, $100. Oh, $100. You, buy, you yeah, bought four, four pieces. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Wh which areas did you buy? Um, I have in Miami, Dubai, um, Philippines. Yo, Johnny, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting in in the blockchain yeah, stuff. Eh? <laughs> John is going hard, guys. He was only doing gaming. He was a gaming guy. Now he's really paying attention and going all in on all the other projects, guys. The whole point is wag me, guys. We all gonna make mm -hmm. it, but you need to Definitely. be proactive. Just don't stick to buying shit coins all day. This NFT is worth right now. Learn about it. So yeah, once they are in crypto university, they will learn a lot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Crypto University is your resource. Once you sign up, you're part of that. Whatever you want to learn, you just go in there and, oh, I need to learn about NFTs right now. Okay, let me go to my NFT course in Crypto University. Learn about it. If you forgot something, you go in there, learn about it so that you become, if you want to get rich in crypto, you become a learning machine. You're always going to win. That's all. I do know so many people, for example, who have been watching this channel for a long time about coins. You know, they're just like crypto investors. Some of them are already millionaires now. It's all good. But they haven't evolved to the new wave of crypto. They didn't eat on the meme coins. <laughs> they were just like, meme coins, this. And, and they missed out. And they're missing out on NFTs. They're missing out on land. They're missing out on the metaverse. And you have to evolve. But Some of them miss out on If you're knowledgeable, your option is very wide. That's the thing. Yeah. That's what I say. Like... It's a knowledge game. When you have so much knowledge, you don't have to trade every day. You just do this. <laughs> Whenever you see an opportunity, yep. then you jump in because you have so many, you know, you, you, you know so much about how to make money in crypto, right? You have so many alternatives. Mostly I'm doing this, like the Mamba, like the Mamba uh, crocodile, you know, just like this. Once you see the opportunity, you, you snipe in, in. yeah. <laughs> User takes sent, he says, that's my BIP address. Could you go on this live, uh, on my iPad there? Maybe I can do it. Yeah, I need, you need to copy his address and send it to me. I need to send him. Uh, oh, I say SLP, not, uh, is SLP on, on Binance Smart Chain as well? Yeah, it has, but it has different address, right? Yeah, but you know, send us the, uh, the running version, man. We don't deal with the Binance Smart Chain when it comes to SLP. Kenneth, what's good, my man? Upland, I like everything you're doing. Oh, man, thank you so much, Okoye. I'm a student in Crypto University. Greetings from Gambia. This is my man, Rugi. Rugi Ba, what's going on? Writing white paper is simple, and some developers can copycat white paper. What if you read the white paper and it looks real and authentic? But later, the token is rugged. Ah, Kosi, that's a very good question. So... Yeah, just like in every sort of investment, anybody who is selling you something, they will have a better narrative to sell you to make sure that you buy into whatever bullshit they're building, right? So you're, you need to be quite rigor. Reading the white paper is one thing, but in 2017, people were investing based on white papers. But a white paper is a, is a story. Ah, oh, guys, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. I don't buy that. There are other parameters you need to look at before you invest. That's why I have the, I will share some uh, ideas here, but mostly in my crypto investment course, I have this all laid out properly on how exactly you should go about it. But you can look at the team, uh, investor network as well. Um, you can also look at the history of um, like the advisors and also how good the technology is or how scalable the ideas are. Oh, what are the competitors? Who else is trying to solve that problem? If they're failing, why are they failing to do that? If somebody say, ah, oh, we're better than Ethereum and all that, you need to ask yourself, that, okay, these guys are saying they're a better network than Ethereum. You can process, um, um, you can process 800,000 transactions per second. You need to ask, okay, why is it possible that Ethereum is not being able to do this, right? And then, if you don't find a good answer for that, it means that pro the other project is a scam, is a rag pool. Especially if they say, oh, the founders are 
uh, anonymous because it's blockchain we want to be anonymous there's sometimes good reason for that most of the time not it just means they're scammers crypto investment course yeah it's a crypto in it's crypto investment course yeah it didn't still, yeah. It says he sent. We don't see your your address. your SLP address, bro. <laughs> There's someone here is trying to spam the chat. Okay, we just kicked them out. Yeah, guys, if you're gonna spam the chat, we're gonna kick you out. Paul says, "Hey, Gray, my first." live stream today uh, in crypto house uh, thank you man i hope it's one of the first of many on fridays we're just doing chat discussions like this you know live talking about trading today we're talking about john's trade talking about reality right? reality man <laughs> he made his first trade and he lost money today he got liquidated he yeah. made some mistakes so we yeah. talked about it Ro uh, norman is in the house the good thing about talking about my mistake is that I need to learn from it, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the whole point. And also others can learn. You know, they say the smartest people learn from other pe people's mistakes. If you have to rely on yourself to get burned every time to learn a lesson, you're going to lose your life. And also, they, Sometimes you they, just need, have to lose they need to know the risk. Mm -hmm. That you can lose money. Yeah. yeah, most people don't know this. You can definitely lose money. Hey, Gray, I'm afraid someone said Bitcoin <laughs> is going to zero. Right, well, if, if maybe you going to zero, we're broke. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Totally, man. We're, gonna be, we're going to be broke. Yeah, look, man, we know how to make money. We can't really get broke. Mm -hmm. the, the thing you need to know is this. If Bitcoin goes to zero, it doesn't mean that now the world of blockchain is over. We're now going back to the old world of just banks and PayPal. That, those days are over. There will be a new solution that will take over. Uh, and then for us, we already have blockchain knowledge. We're just going to transform to the next thing. Earlier before everyone else, and we're already going to make money. Don't worry about it. Bitcoin has already set a, pre a, a, a precedent for, um, for a decentralized network-based currency. Now, it, we're never going to have a world where that, that does not exist. Even if Bitcoin had to fail. But you also need to understand, Bitcoin is too big now to fail because... It's, it's, it, it's established already. It's established. It's the most powerful, net, largest powerful network in the world. Never been hacked before. It works. It has the, an incredible level of developers. And it's decentralized. So Bitcoin cannot go to zero because the moment it goes down, more people keep buying it. And there's so much value locked into it as well. So no, Bitcoin is not going to zero. What, what could go to zero is the US dollar or your native currency wherever you are in the world. That currency of yours could go to zero. Bitcoin, no sir. We will become wells in BTC. <laughs> exactly, That's, I like how you're thinking, man. That is the plan. I was telling John, uh, we can talk about it, John. John is trying to buy a house, right? Yes, yeah. He's trying to buy a house. I'm telling you, John, you don't have enough Bitcoin. Buying a, a house right now is a bad move. You're better off growing your BTC value mm -hmm. than a house. Maybe we can talk about this in a, on a different video if you want. Yeah. But, yeah. But yeah, I think that's a very good topic also to talk about. You know, should you buy a house or should you buy Bitcoin? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Tomorrow we make that video by the beach. Right now we can't go to the beach to the beach because the weather is not really. Yeah, the weather is bad. And honestly, I also have a ton of work to do. I keep saying that I'll go to the beach and it doesn't quite work. Bitcoin will never go to zero. Yeah, it's not going to zero. The thing that eventually will go to zero is the dollar. Just a matter of time. Absolutely. Yeah. And Stenium, I like how you're thinking, man. Great, what is the support level for now? What do you think, man? Okay, there's 38,000. Uh, it will act as support a little bit. And then we have 34K. And when 34 is broken, it's, th it's 28,000 incoming. So prepare, or 29,000 could actually stand because we have had three bounces on that previously before. <laughs> Flake says, if you have 8,000 Bitcoin, is how much? Yo! Jeez, bro. I don't even, I, my, I can't <laughs> compute that out of my head, man. It's a lot of money. 
Share some Bitcoin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I think this man got 8,000 Bitcoins, man. Please, share with, share with us. Outpost fan says, Hardcore Crypto. Yeah, man, he still remembers our old name. This channel used to be Hardcore Crypto, for those of you who don't know. But YouTube used to hate on us, so we changed the name to Crypto Hustle. I will travel like you when I make much money from crypto. Look, you will do it, man, very soon. All you need to do is this. Accumulate as much Bitcoin as you can and Ethereum. Then start using decentralized finance to generate passive income. That will pay for all your accommodation. And then you also learn how to trade to make money on the daily to make sure that you can afford to pay the daily bills. That's it, really. Naira and all the fiat is going to zero. Yes, Vin D, you're absolutely right. The housing market is on a bubble right now. Absolutely, man. It's just, and look, if you have to take a mortgage because you cannot afford to pay out cash to buy a house, don't do it. It's this is not financial idea. advice. It's a liability. If you can commit to pay a certain amount of money every, uh, every month, to, uh, to upkeep your mortgage, you can as well just use the same discipline and accumulate Bitcoin or some, like you, I told you, you have a son. I told you, if I were you, I would just really invest, invest like $5,000, start investing slowly up to $5,000 and lock it up in a wallet for his future. He is super young, by the time he's 18, he's a rich kid. He's gonna be a, um, what, do, what a trust and baby. OG, oh, right? Oh, <laughs> Dad, you already invested in Bitcoin. He's going to be going to high school on a, on a Lambo. Jeez. Bro, 18 years is a long time. Yeah, you know? definitely. So, we, guys, we, we're sitting on something here, you know. We're sitting on a, on, a, on a big opportunity. But the problem is that a lot of us do not really realize the opportunity. And we're also thinking very short term. That's the problem. I bought Shiva at 0 0.003, but it's gone down. You think it will go up in 2022? Okay, so when you buy coins like Shiba, there's no guarantee. You're gambling. The only coins you can buy and be sure that in the future will exist is Bitcoin. That's why I keep saying, guys, all the altcoins are fun, but Bitcoin is the real deal. Don't sleep on that one. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Buy Shiba, buy whatever shit coin you want. When you make money, take the profits, put them back into Bitcoin. <coughs> Done. Bitcoin is the reserve currency here. You don't need to hold it for a long run. You can't be holding Shiba for too long, you know, unless when it crashes too hard, you can buy it, hopefully because you know that it can pump up, like why I'm buying SLP, WaxP, because it has an upside potential. Chidi says, please direct me to your course. Chidi, go to cryptouniversity.network or you can follow the link in the description of this video. You'll find it and you go to Crypto University, take the Crypto Masterclass, it will show you exactly what you need to do from the beginner level all the way up to the higher levels. That's what when I started, bro. That's how you got started. Now, you see, John now is like he invested in some NFT land. He made his first trade today. He's now investing. Some, a little bit Bitcoin. Yeah, he has a little bit of Bitcoin. I also have Dogecoin. Yeah, oh, man. He knows what's up. Doge, I mean, John knows what's up. Yeah. Okay, he's some investing. SOPs. Yeah. Man, I love it. I love it, guys. Um, so that's pretty much the plan guys. Thank you for watching. It was another show today, a Friday show. We just sit down here, talk crypto with you guys. Hopefully we encourage so many people to join the movement guys. Unplug from the old system. It doesn't work for you. It doesn't work for me and it will not work for us. Bitcoin is our only way out. I've been saying this for years and you, if you have been following me for a long time, I started in this market with absolutely nothing. Bitcoin turned me into a millionaire. I'm nothing special than you guys. I have no college degree. I'm not from a rich family. It's literally just Bitcoin. Crypto, having fun with crypto, learning new things all the time. Hustling. Hustling the internet. You know, it's the hustle. It's all about the crypto hustle, guys. It's all about the crypto hustle. Oh, that's a new saying. <laughs> it's all about the crypto hustle. Yeah. <laughs> and wag me as well. Uh, we're all going to make it. Kusin Show, shout out to you, my friend. Good seeing you here. I know you were a long-term, long-time subscriber. You have always been around. I hope you're doing well. Uh, fantastic, everybody. Uh, I mistakenly sent USDC to my Rolling wallet with BSC Network, and it's never arrived. It is possible to retrieve it. 
to your aunt. You're running wallet. Okay. If your running wallet is a derivative from your MetaMask wallet, if you're using the same address in your MetaMask and the running wallet, yes, you can retrieve it. You just have to use your MetaMask account and add USDC to it. No, but you say from USDC to Ethereum. Okay, you can still USDC using what? BSC? Yeah, you just add BSC in your MetaMask on that very specific address. You'll be able to, to recover it. I like Binance. It's a good business. It has done a lot to the space. But I don't like the, mis, the, the misinformation that it creates in the market. Like, most people actually think that Binance chain is the main need for everything. You know, they use BSC on USDT, BSC on Litecoin. I'm like, yo guys, you need to learn to use the main needs of all these projects because you're really just like plugging all your assets into the Binance ecosystem, which could not work. But also you make mistakes of sending things around because you're in the wrong network. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Good vibes and wag me. I'll see you on the moon. And peace. Yeah, so you, hi guys, you will know the drill. So every Friday. Yeah, every Friday we're going live, we travel the world, and you, you know, can ask, ask a, You can ask a lot of questions like me, and you, I'm a newbie myself. So yeah, yeah it's only the newbie. Place, you know, you can, we can talk about a lot of stuff. Exactly. And if you want to join our gaming community, Mamba Gaming Universe, follow us on Twitter, link is in the description, follow us on Instagram and it's going to happen so use the text dm me on instagram i'll get your slp address but do it now okay do it right now uh and i'll be able to help you and yeah guys peace Cheers, yeah.